Diego, c congrats on the, the goal tonight. Obviously, you had to go through VAR. What was your, your mindset? Did you did you have any second thoughts? Were you kind of second guessing that overall? No, I was just, yeah, I guess I didn't know either. <laughs> I was just in the moment, but I, I just saw Pablo on the sideline saying, it's a goal, it's a goal. So I kind of had a feeling that, that something was up and that they were going to call it a goal. So, but yeah. And then I was kind of upset that I just didn't get to celebrate. That's kind of the only thing. <laughs> Absolutely. And obviously, you, you guys clinched the, the playoff yeah. spot, spot tonight. What, what, what does that mean for the, this club moving forward? Yeah, I think that's another uh, playoff clinch that we got and that we can, you know, say that every year I've been here, we've clinched the playoff, right? So for my time here, I'm happy. And for the club in general, that's another uh, progress point, right? So, yeah. Manolo, uh, there were six goals scored tonight. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of scoring. You guys had three. Um, the, the firepower on this team to be able to bring guys like Diogo and Chicho off the bench um, is, is that is that pretty cool to just be part of such a, a potent attacking team? Yeah, like I think we got a very deep uh, attacking bench when it comes to something like that. So uh, yeah, just to, to whoever we start have power in the game, and then to have. You know, if that's not working, to have people on the bench to come in and, and see what they can do is, is really, you know, comforting in that point. And then uh, Pablo touched on a couple of oops, several things that you guys would like to work on over the next couple of weeks as the playoffs get closer, defense being one of the bigger ones. You know, you guys give up three goals yeah. in the second half tonight. Um, in your mind, I guess, maybe what are some of the biggest things that you'd like to see improved upon? And personally, like, kind of what are you, what are you trying to work on? I think just the team in general. I don't think they had many chances. I think it was uh, two set piece goals, right? Three in the past four days, right? And it's um, that's just unacceptable. I think it's just moments where we win this game three one. If anything, if if we're locked in in those situations, and um, yeah, I just don't think that's that's something that's that we should be allowing, or we should just be saying, oh, we'll get it next time. That's it's just not acceptable. And I think that's something we need to work on and, and be locked in ninety minutes. And and moments like that just can't happen. Had some nice uh, play today in both halves, but obviously gave it a three goals. How yeah. is the team gelling now that the new players have had an opportunity to uh, spend some time playing and practicing with the team? And maybe how close do you think you are to being where you, you want to be to finish the season? Yeah, I think, like I said, we got to be at the, we're trying to hit the, the stride at the right time, right, to go into playoffs and, and and uh, be in the right form. But um, yeah, I think it, it, it's only been, what, two, two or three games that we've had new guys come in and, and you know fully have training and have training under their belts and all this stuff. So I think we still have time for these guys to adjust and, and continue to, to bring more you know, of what they, what they can do. And you know, for me, I haven't been informed lately, but now to get back into it, and I'm feeling better. So hopefully being able to pick that up and, and with a goal tonight and hopefully continue to to, to you know, progress myself, and I'm feeling better, so that's I'm happy about that. Thank you. Diego, yeah, um, Hispanic Heritage Game today. Yeah. We saw you with the Mexican flag. Yeah, just wanted to ask you um, what it means to have Mex Mexican descendants. Yeah, and also if that was kind of like a wink, if they, um, a wink to the next Mexican national team, they like I'm here in case you need me. Yeah, I think. I didn't think about it that deep. I think it was more of just uh, my background and for my family and, and for my parents, right? Showing, you know, that uh, of course I am Mexican and that's not gonna, just because I played with the US so far is not gonna take away anything. Um, and yeah, if they wanna take it like that, then whatever they wanna take it as. But uh, I'm Mexican American, so it, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really change anything. And to your celebration, um, yeah. was it going to be a new dance or was it going to be um, something we saw in the past? No, nah, it was going to be a new dance. Yeah, it was going to be something funny. Oh, yeah. we missed it. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to hit it in Austin next week. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. Diego, earlier in the year, this was one of the top defensive teams in the league. Can you address the nine goals allowed in the last four games and what has happened as the season reaches the most important games that the club isn't as good defensively as it was earlier in the year? Yeah, I think that's, like I said, right, something we need to work on, set pieces, and just moments. I don't think these goals are, are goals are where they're breaking us down Bye. and, and uh, doing stuff like that. I think it's more of um, decision-making on our parts, uh, being locked in, in in moments. And 
like I said, it, that's not something it's you can train it, but it's all it's all just mentality. Are you going to be locked in for 90 minutes, and that's that's what we need to that's what we need to to win. So it's all about moments.